G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Japanese Castle Explorer video and uh, I would like to talk with you about Nagoya Castle. Now Nagoya Castle was built in 1610 and it was put there as a, I guess as a precaution against the threat from Osaka. Now who was in Osaka? The Toyotomi. So yeah, Tokugawa Ieyasu thought it was a good idea to protect this strategic location between Kyoto and the capital of Edo, so a castle was built and the daimyo of Western Japan were tasked with building it. Um, one, one of the daimyos was Katoki Yamasa and he knew how to build a castle let me tell you. So um, let's talk about the buildings. There is the main tower. This is a concrete reconstruction. It was built in 1959. Originally it was completed in 1612 and uh, it would have been a fine structure but um, sorry now it's concrete it's not fine if you ask me <laughs> it's so not fine that I didn't go in I, I just have a thing against concrete main towers so at the top there are the gold uh, kinshachi now these are symbols to protect against fire clearly that didn't work in 1945 it got bombed on which is very unfortunate another building that got burned to the ground was the Honmaru Palace now one of the great things to come out of it is that um, the sliding screens which were covered in gold and beautiful artworks these were actually stored in a little storehouse at the back of the castle so um, yes we did lose the structure but many of the artworks had been preserved so that's great now they've since made reproductions of those and they've since started uh, rebuilding this Ponmaru palace now the first stage is complete and there are a further two stages to go so I had a look behind the scenes, I had to put a hat on and then I was able to get some photos of the other two stages. Um, stage 2, you can see they're starting to put up beams and cross beams and all that sort of stuff. And part 3, well not much is going on there. Now some of the outer turrets are interesting. Uh, one of them was being restored, it was the southwest turret. It is essentially identical to the southeast turret. There are some minor differences in the gables on the second floor, but otherwise they are identical. The most unique and interesting of the three turrets that remain is the Kiyosu turret. Now this is said to have been the main tower for Kiyosu Castle. I would love that to be the case because, um, well, I just like that story. Okay, now let's talk about gates, and there are three gates that I'd like to talk about. All of them are quite small. The first is the Kurogane Mon. Now this is covered in iron sheet, hence the name Kurogane. Um, another gate is the uh, Akazu no Mon. Now this, uh, when you read the Chinese characters, it says not bright gate. But also when you, when you hear the sound Akazu, it sounds like not open. So the, there's a play on words there. Now the third and final gate I'd like to talk about is a relocated gate and that is a an interesting little gate, yeah as I said relocated and near there there is a stone, it's called the Kiyomasa stone so I guess the people from Kumamoto put that there in his honour. It doesn't quite compare with the giant stones of Osaka but um, still an impressive stone. Okay guys I think I'm about done with my chat about Nagoya Castle, as I said it was an enjoyable few hours, I didn't go into the main tower. But I did enjoy strolling around at the other buildings, so... Okay, so thank you very much everyone. Take it easy. See you later. Goodbye.